Okay. One of the resources for this topic, communication and globalization, is a TED Talk by Sherry Turkle, entitled Connected But Alone. So she, is, she studied technologies of mobile communication and have intervie- interviewed hundreds of people about their plugged-in lives over the past 15 years. She's a psychologist. So with that studies that she made, these are the key points that she mentioned in her talk. She said, We are letting technology take us to places that we don't want to go. Our cell phone devices are so psychologically powerful. Psychological meaning it affects our brain, how we think. So our cell phone devices are so psychologically powerful that they don't only change what we do. They change who we are. We are on our cell phones all the time. From the moment we wake up till our sleep. And of course, in between. We are texting or scrolling on our device while having our meals in the classroom, meetings, church, funerals, and etc. Are you one of these? Are you um, Are you are you those kind of person who uses cell phones all the time? So she said that it can cause trouble in how we relate to each other and also trouble in how we relate to ourselves and our capacity for self-reflection. We are getting used on the way, on the new way, alone, together. So I hope that you are not, um, you are not victimized by your cell phone, but be the rightful owner, be the, be the boss of your cell phone and, and not your cell phone be your boss. I hope that you are still have the capacity to self-reflect. When you say self-reflect, know how to be alone and know how to talk to yourself without looking at your cell phone. Before, um, because of the use of cell phone, she said, there, before, without the use of cell phone, we can still converse, we can still communicate with our friends um, or constantly communicate in like real conversation which means it takes place in real time and you can't control what you're going to say no there's an an actual face-to-face exchange of information but because of social media most of us we communicate through messages and we can edit we can delete what we say so it's not anymore real time it doesn't um yeah controlled na kaya so she, ha- she has a question. Would you rather text or talk to your friend? How about you? I'm asking you a question. Would you rather text or talk to your friend? Okay. She said, we are tempted by machines that offer companionship. We are developing robots, sociable robots, that are specially designed to be companions. So... Th- So this is apart from cell phone, right? So this is talking about technology. And she said that we are also developing robots, like the real robots, a human robot companion. So they they call it sociable robots that are specially designed to be companions, like to the elderly, to our children, to us. A robot that has no experience of the arc of human life. It It can't empathize. It doesn't face death. It doesn't know life. So, like, the the invention of robots as companions to human. And that maybe we fear that it, that these robots can replace us humans. But she said that the robot doesn't have experience of the human life. Because it doesn't have life. It has battery life. So, it doesn't know what life is from childhood to adulthood and to elderly. So since the robot doesn't have those experience, it cannot empathize. It cannot relate the human life. And it also doesn't face death. Pwede sila mamatay. As they can just be plugged in. So unlike us, if we talk to someone who've experienced death in the family, um, love and love and death and hurt, then we can empathize the other person. But robots can't. Because it doesn't know life. 
we expect more from technology and less from each other. And in this age, she said it's instead of I think, therefore I am, but because of the technology, I share, therefore I am. She also talks about being alone. So she asked, how do you get from connection to isolation? Solitude is the ability to separate, meaning your ability to be on your own, not being with so friends or connected to anyone. It's the ability to separate, to gather yourself. Solitude is where you find yourself. When you are on your own, that's where you find yourself. So you can reach out. So when you find yourself, you can reach out to other people and form real attachments. Because when you're aware of yourself and you know who you are, then you know what kind of friends you want to hang around. And you know what are the knowledge and ideas that you want to share. So you can, so when you, when you, solitude is where you find yourself. So you can reach out to other people and form real attachments not fake ones no mura na tag kita tanan mura na tag mga artista because of the social media we're not being true to ourselves we don't have the capacity when we don't have the capacity for solitude or being alone we turn to other people in order to feel less anxious or in order to feel alive kita tag someone we're so, too dependent on being with another person to feel alive because we are not happy being ourselves, being on our own. Ikaw, can you live on your own? Can you be in the house on your own for maybe a week? Or mabuang ka if you can't talk to anyone. So when it happens, we're not able to appreciate who they are. If, if, if sigilata o constantly being with someone else. It's as though we are using them as spare parts to support our fragile sense of self. We slip into thinking that always being connected is going to make us feel less alone. But it's the opposite. If we are not going to be alone, we are going to be more lonely. If we don't teach our children to be alone, they will only know how to be lonely. So that's the impact of being on solitude. That's why kabaluka ka ng sa mga Buddhists. Mga yoga yogis, they go to the mountains or they go to the cave on their own to be alone so that they'll be aware of themselves, their, their inner angels and demons inside. And, that they've, and because of that, they've shown how important it is to be by ourselves. Because if we are outward looking, if we are sa other person, we don't have time to look at our, ourselves, the inner selves. So this is what she's talking about. So that's about this video, Connected but, but Alone by Sherry Torkel, from based on her observations and studies for 15 years about social media communication and technologies.